now we will learn about circles we will learn how to find the perimeter and areas of the circle circle as you know is a unique figure it is almost present everywhere around us you see the tire of your bicycle that is in the form of circle if you see a wall clock that is in the form of a circle if you see a plate in which you eat that is also in the form of a circle and if you look around you will find circle everywhere around us the definition of circle is a circle is a simple closed curve in which the set of all points that are equidistant from another single point right so we have got one point and let us take another point which is at one centimeter away from the first point let us take third point which is also one centimeter away from the first point similarly fourth point fifth point all these points are one centimeter away from the first point right and we just draw all these point and we join all the points together you'll see they will be forming a circle this is a circle now let's draw a circle so the point in the center which is equidistant from all the points it is called the center or origin of the circle right so if we join any point on the circle from this point in the center right this is called the radius so radius is the fixed distance between the center and any point on the circle right so all these are radius and when we join opposite two points which are passing through the center it becomes the diameter right so by definition the line that goes straight across the circle through the center this is called the diameter and if you see closely diameter is twice the radius and when we go around once the circle we get the circumference so the distance around the circular region is known as its circumference so circumference of circle is same as the perimeter for other figures like squares and rectangle there for squares and rectangles and other figures we use perimeter here for circle we are going to use circumference so to understand the circumference of a circle first we have to understand about the number called pi so what is pi so pi is the ratio of two different distances in a circle this ratio is constant for every circle so the ratio is distance around a circle to distance across a circle this is equal to pi now pi if you see it can be written like this this is a greek symbol so distance around circle is circumference and distance across the circle is diameter this is equal to pi as you already spoken this is a greek symbol so this is circle we draw a diameter and if we wrap the diameter around the circle along its boundary it comes out to be like this right we again take diameter right again we wrap it around the circle right so the first diameter was like this second diameter is like this now one more time we take diameter and we wrap it around the circle like this right if you see so three diameters this circle has covered and it is a little more than that if you see right some part is left which is yet to be covered so one thing you can see three times diameter we just saw it is little less than the circumference of the circle but we are taking it approximately equal to the circumference so the ratio of circumference to the diameter of the circle it is approximately equal to 3 or we can say 3 by 1 let us take another circle we again take diameter of the circle and we again wrap it around the circle right like this then we take second time the diameter then the third time and we place it along the boundary of the circle like this so again you see three times the diameter is a little less than the circumference again let us take a bigger circle again it has got diameter and we place the diameter length along the circumference like this then second diameter right we place it like this then third diameter we place it along the circumference of the circle again if you see three times the diameter is a little less than the circumference of a circle so we have pi is equal to the ratio of circumference to diameter that we already seen so pi is approximately equal to 3 or 3 by 1 we define pi as 3.14 and its approximate value is 22 by 7 now we have the value of pi here if we represent circumference by c and diameter by d and radius by r so pi is equal to c by d or c is equal to pi d we can say circumference is equal to pi d and we know that d that is diameter is twice of radius so we replace d by 2r we get c is equal to pi into 2r or we can write circumference as 2 pi r right so these are two formulas that we have to remember now we come to area of the circle 
So the area of circle is the region enclosed by the circle. The area of circle is equal to pi multiplied by its radius squared. So this is a circle. This is its center O. This is the radius OA, right? Represented by R. Now we shade the area of the circle like this, right? By these small small sectors we call them. So one half is shaded in orange, and second half we shade in blue, right? And all these sectors are similar to what triangles. Now we take the orange triangles first, and we place them like this. So once we have placed the, all the orange triangles like this, now we have to place the blue triangles, and we place them like this in the inverted form, right? You can see the one triangle; it has been divided into two halves, and half, one half is there, other half is there. Now, by this you can see these triangles have made what a rectangle. Now the height of the rectangle or breadth of the rectangle is same as the radius of the circle. Right? This is clear. And if you see the side of the rectangle is half of the circumference of the circle, right? Because this is the one half of the circle. So now area of the circle is equal to area of rectangle. This is unchanged because it is the sum of areas of blue triangle and orange triangles. Now area of rectangle we know is length into breadth. So length is half of circumference and breadth is radius. So we write it. So half of circumference is half into two pi r, and two pi r is coming from the formula for the circumference of the circle and multiplied by r. Now let us see. By solving it, we get it as pi r square. So we conclude area of the circle is equal to pi r square. This formula we have to remember. Here r square is equal to r into r. Right? This is represented by this. Now let us solve some questions. So, what is the circumference of a circle of diameter 10 centimeter? So, diameter is 10 centimeter. Circumference is equal to pi d. That we know, and we take value of pi as 3.14. So, that means circumference is equal to 3.14 into 10. This comes out to be 31.4 centimeter. So, this is the circumference of the circle. Now, let us take one more question. A gardener wants to fence a circular garden of diameter 21 centimeter. Find the length of the rope he needs to purchase if he makes two rounds of the fence also we have to find the cost of the rope if it cost rupees 4 per meter here we have to take the value of pi as 22 by 7 so one thing is clear diameter is given 21 meter radius comes out to be 21 by 2 meter so length of the rope for fencing one round of a garden is equal to circumference of the garden so we have to find the circumference circumference is equal to 2 pi r so it comes out to be 2 into 22 by 7 into 21 by 2. When we solve it, we get 66 meter. Right? This is the circumference. He makes two rounds. So total length of the rope of fencing is 2 into circumference, which gives us 2 into 66, which is equal to 132 meters. Now cost of 1 meter rope is 4. So we multiply it by total length of the rope required. So we get the total cost as 4 into 132, which gives us rupees 528. Now we have to find the perimeter of the given figure, which is a semicircle, including its diameter, right? So this perimeter has to be found out, right? So diameter is 12 centimeter. Now radius is half of this, six centimeter. Circumference of the circle, if we complete the circle, would be two pi r, and circumference of the semicircle would be half of two pi r. That means pi r. That means half into two into 22 by seven into 6 solving we get 18.85 centimeter as the circumference of the semicircle so this part curved part or circular part of this figure the length of this we have found right now we simply add the length of the diameter to find a total perimeter so we get 18.85 plus 12 which gives us 30.85 centimeter as the perimeter of this figure now let us take one more question from a circular card sheet of radius 14 centimeter, two circles of radius 3.5 centimeter, and a rectangle of length 3 centimeter and breadth 1 centimeter are removed. Find the area of the remaining sheet. So basically, these parts are already cut out. You have to find the area of the shaded region in blue. Right. So the area of circle we know is equal to pi r square. So area of the bigger circle that is shaded blue. It is 22 by 7 into 14 into 14 because its radius is 14 centimeter. So replacing the values, we get 2 into 22 by 7 into 3.5 into 3.5. Solving, we get 77 centimeter square as the area of the two smaller circles. Now we find the area of the rectangle also. 
area rectangle is length into breadth so 3 into 1 because 3 centimeter 1 centimeter are the length and breadth respectively so we get area is 3 centimeter now to find the area of the shaded region in blue we have to subtract the area of these two small circles and the rectangle from the bigger circle right so this is what we did that means 616 minus 77 plus 3 solving we get 536 centimeter square as the area of the remaining figure here is one more example how many times a wheel of radius 35 centimeter must rotate to travel a distance of 440 meter so there is a wheel of 35 centimeter radius now if we find the circumference of the circle in one rotation we know that distance the wheel will cover so how many rotation will be required to cover distance of 440 meter that we have to find so let us find the circumference first radius is 35 centimeter distance covered in one rotation it is equal to 2 pi r which solving we get 220 centimeter right so this is the distance covered in one rotation so number of rotation required to cover 440 meter is equal to total distance to be covered divided by circumference of the wheel solving we get 440 by 220 centimeter here if you see the difference 440 is in meter whereas 220 is in centimeter so we have to convert one of the unit into an another right so we have to convert meters to centimeter or centimeters to meter so what do we do we know 440 meter we can write it as 440 into 100 because 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so we get 440 meter as 44,000 centimeter now we replace 44,000 centimeter instead of 440 meter so number of rotations is equal to 44,000 divided by 220 so we get as 200 rotations that a wheel has to do to cover distance of 440 meters